Okay, so we're going to set up the um, Husqvarna E20. It's uh, pretty much the same machine as, as a few others, namely the E10 is the same, but this one is the E20. So first things first, we're going to just clean out um, inside here. So we can put the machine onto its back and we're going to move the left one left, the right one right, and then pull the middle out like so. What we want to make sure is that there is no lint or fluff or anything on the raceway, which is there and there. So we can turn that at the same time, just make sure that's clean and dust free. What we've done is turn this C-shaped piece so that it's level with the needle plate. And then what we can do then is drop the um, shuttle in and then the ring goes in over the top so the big piece goes inwards and the little um, post on the bottom sits in the recess there and when that's in correctly we'll jump in if we turn the hand um, hand wheel you can see the feed dogs will move and that will make it a bit easier to get in once it's there we're going to push these over the spring loaded so they go on top one two and then we give the hand wheel a wiggle just to make sure everything's working okay so that is first thing first now we're ready to thread the machine so we have the bobbin case what we're going to do is put the bobbin in like that so that when we sorry we're going to turn that around we're going to put the bobbin in like that so when we pull it it's turning clockwise we go into the gap with the thread pull it back and clip it in and that's really what we're looking for so that the bobbin case and the bobbin will hang from the thread Open the clip, push that onto the post, clip that in, and that is the bobbin thread sorted. We're going to cut that off so that we can just pull that up in a minute. So the important thing with the um, top thread is that it's done with the presser foot in the up position. So we're going to lift that up, lift the presser foot up, and then we're going to thread from there, across and around, down, around and back up. We're going to turn the hand wheel so we can see the take-up lever, which is the silver lever there. So we're going to come up on the right hand side, lean across and pull it towards us. That's make sure that the thread is in the eye of the take-up lever. Then we go down, behind the guide here and there and then this particular machine hasn't got the needle threader fitted so we are going to have to thread by hand which hopefully won't be too much of a problem use tweezers find it much more convenient to be able to see what we're doing and hold the thread steady so that is the top threaded before we do anything else, we're just going to check the tension. So the presser foot is in the up position. The tension is on four. And we're going to pull through this thread and it pulls through gently, no real issues. The minute we lower the presser foot, we're going to pull on the thread and you can see we've got tension on the thread now, which is what we should have. We're going to lift the presser foot back up, pop the thread through the foot and at the back of the machine. Turn the hand wheel anti-clockwise to lower the needle. The needle's going to go down and back up. And then we'll be able to pull the bobbin thread up through the needle plate. Both threads 